Let's deploy Strapi 4 to DigitalOcean in less than 5 minutes. Step 1. Open up your Chrome browser, go to strapi.io and start with their quick starter guide. Next, before we install Strapi, it's important that you have the correct node version. Both 12 and 14 are supported, but Strapi recommends that you go with 14. Once you have the correct node version installed, let's use npx create strapi app command and create our basic project using the quick start. Quick start will set up your strapi instance using SQLite. For us, that's not a big deal since when we deploy to DigitalOcean, we're going to set up Postgres. Once the installation completes, it might out of run the application. We're going to kill the server and we're going to navigate into our project folder and open it in VS Code. Here you could see the file structure of our application, but the most important part is to make sure that we set up proper settings for production. Let's do that now. You can currently find our default settings in the config folder in the file database.js. This is our current database configuration, which allows us to use SQLite for local development. But now let's set up our production configuration to allow us to connect PostgreSQL database with DigitalOcean. In order to overwrite our default settings, let's create a folder called env and inside create a folder called production and inside that create a file called database.js. Next, we're going to go to Strapi documentation and copy and paste their default PostgreSQL settings. You can also find all this information in the post link below in the description. These will be the deployed settings that Strapi will use when our application is in production. Everything in this file will remain the same with the exception to the SSL setting. Here we're going to change it to point to the DigitalOcean's SSL certificate. Next, let's install the PG and PM package that will allow Strapi to communicate with our Postgres database. You can do that by running npm install pg. And finally, let's create a Git repository and push our code to GitHub since that is what we're going to use to help us deploy our application on DigitalOcean. Next, go to digitalocean.com and sign up for an account. If you sign up, they give you $100 credit for the next 60 days. But wait, there is no free lunch here. Like all great services, it comes at a cost. Now I'm going to go with the most basic setup here. I'm going to just pay five bucks up front and I still have my hundred dollar credit for next 60 days. Now we could have a discussion if this service should be free or you could go ahead and read Atlas Shrugged by Ian Rand. Anyway, let's click deploy a web application, scroll all the way down and select deploy your source code to an app platform. Now we're going to click on GitHub and authorize GitHub to allow us to have access with DigitalOcean. Once your account is authorized, we're going to click on GitHub choose our repo, we're going to make sure that we're deploying from our main branch and we're going to keep auto deploy on. Clicking next will take us to our configuration menu. First thing we're going to change is our port from 8080 to 1337. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our database. Click add database to finish. And finally, let's set up our environment variables. Here are the environment variables that we have to point to in our DigitalOcean deploy. Here's an example of our env file that we have to add. Luckily, DigitalOcean provides these variables for us to have access to our database settings. So this is easy enough, but we're still going to have to set up our strappy specific items that have to be unique to our application. And that includes our API keys, our JWT secret, API token, and to finalize everything to make sure that we use our production settings, we have to set our node and V equal to production. So let's go ahead and plug this information in. Once you completed adding all your information, double check and make sure everything is correct. And the most important thing, if you mess up here, you'll be able to come back and adjust any of the settings that you need. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click next. And now it's going to do its magic. Nope, not yet. First, we have to select our region. I'm closer to New York at the moment. I'm going to click next, click basic plan. We're going to do the bare minimum to get going and launch the basic application. This is going to start the deploy and you're going to see the progress here. If anything fails, it's going to let you know, but we'll be back in a minute. Easy peasy, nothing but a chicken thing. And we're done. Let's take a look at our live application. Navigate to your URL slash admin to create a user account. Great. Everything works. Let's create an account and start using Strapi. 
And this is why I love Strapi, because you're able to deploy it right away and start integrating your amazing features and doing continuous deployment. And this is amazing because right from the start, you could test your application in production. So go ahead and make your big idea. By the way, thank you for checking out this video. I made this video based of already existing video released by Strapi. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to leave it in the description below. But more importantly, I want to go through the process of actually deploying the application. I use Strapi a lot. And one of the biggest questions is how easily can you deploy it? And thank goodness with DigitalOcean, they do make it pretty simple and straightforward. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about Strapi, you could find additional information at strapi.io or check out their forum. And if you haven't liked or shared or subscribed to my channel yet, what are you guys doing? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.